Fed's next decision on interest rates is coming 25 hours from now. After today's lower inflation rate, are we still expecting a skip or a pause for good? Steve Leisman here with the results of the latest CNBC Fed survey. Hi, Steve. Hey, Kelly, yeah, we have surprising results in this survey with showing our 33 respondents they're differing with the market outlook and think the Fed's course here is none and done. That is no rate hike now and no more this year. 91% of respondents see no rate hike at this meeting, although 6% do see one. 63% say the Fed won't hike in July either with 34% forecasting one. The, fun, the funds rate peaks at 5.24%. That's a bit higher than the current rate because some do see that July hike. The Fed is then seen on hold at the peak rate for nearly eight months. Here's how the rest of the year would shape up, according to the forecasters. More than 80% see no change in September and in November. 71% forecast no change in December, but a 26% minority there penciling in a rate cut. Peter Bookvar, chief investment officer at Bleakley Group, writes in with the survey. Jay Powell will talk tough at the presser after not hiking rates, but he's done with the rate hikes. Bookvar says credit tightening from the banks and decelerating housing inflation are going to keep the Fed on hold. And that's one factor that could explain this difference between the survey and between the markets. The concern about bank lending, you can see here 53 percent are reducing their forecast for this year because of those tighter credit standards, 47 percent had not. But the average reduction was 0.3 percentage points of GDP. That's a lot of GDP when there isn't much to give. Still, there are many who think the Fed should keep raising rates and will. Mark Vittner, chief economist at Piedmont Crescent Capital, says we're looking for a hawkish skip. We believe the Fed will take a break from hiking rates at its June meeting, but signal they will raise rates further at coming meetings. So there's this problem. Some are asking if the Fed knows it needs to hike in July, why doesn't it hike now? And I think the answer is probably the Fed isn't so sure what it should be doing, wants to see more data before figuring out if it's none and done or maybe, Kelly, it's none and one.